Hey, good morning guys. Uh, here is my daily blog coming to you in the form of this video. And we're starting off with my wallpaper here, which is an especially nice one. So hopefully it uses this for the, uh, what's it called? Thumbnail for this video. This is uh, Spirit Island in the Jasper National Park in Canada. So it's an especially pretty picture. It goes up to see the sky there. So it's a nice picture. Let's jump into my blog. Today we are talking about Saint Germain Cousin. The last will be first. There's a picture of her, but I think that this is probably a nice rendition because according to what we're going to read, she was not an attractive person. And she, she looks like an, an ordinary and kind of pretty girl here, but she apparently was not. Today in the book, in Kylo et in Terra, we read about a girl named Germaine. She was born in France in 1579. Oh, sorry, we're slightly off center here. There we go. And was disfigured and lame. She was terribly mistreated by her family, forced to live under the stairs, like Harry Potter, and eat leftovers. She found solace in her sheep, which she herded and cared for. Little children would talk to her and liked her since she was simple and obviously loved God. She spent hours praying while watching her sheep, and this is especially the part that made me, um, kind of broke my heart, entrusting them to his care. So she would, she would ask God to take care of her sheep. She died when she was only 22, and many miracles were a result of her intercession. You can read more about her here if you click on that link. It is not the Franciscan site, so we don't have anything to listen to. But St. Germain is a great example of what Jesus meant when he said that the last will be first and the first last. When people are beautiful or rich or both, we treat them differently. And it's very likely they'll become spoiled and not act humbly or kindly to other people. However, when people are poor or ugly or both, people treat them badly and their only recourse is often in prayer. So the poor and ugly receive spiritual rewards in the next life because they learn to trust only in him, while the rich and beautiful are rewarded very little in the next life because they waste this life in vain and silly pursuits. The good news is even the rich and beautiful can choose to be humble and kind if they realize that their eternal destination and reward depend on how they act in this life. God, thanks for the example of this poor girl who showed us how to trust in you despite our shortcomings. St. Germain Cousin, pray for us. And you guys have a great day.